Hello, hello. This is Johannes Watery from Hold to Run. Today we're gonna take a look how to implement Google Drive and Google Drive or out authentication for signing in into your account and signing out. This is gonna be a two-phase video and first I will recode, refactor this Google Drive class here, which handles sign in and sign out into my another application, which needs refactoring. So it's a good chance to uh, record that coding for this. And then in the second phase, I will refactor this Google Drive manager into that same application and record that coding. And this is the uh, one of the most complicated Google APIs and it'll be handling the file upload and download into the Google Drive once we have signed in with our account. And this class will can handle pretty much any file. I have accepted files for my personal use for images and videos and PDFs, but it's not limited into that. And uh, it's going to include the uh, upload and download progress, progress listeners. So quickly, let's demo what, what this class can, can do for signing in and signing out. So this is my demo app for PPSafe encryption manager. I need Google account, so I will sign in. Okay, it gives me the uh, all out screen and I'll use my personal account and we logged in. And there's a toggle if you're logged in, then it's just gonna lock you out when you push it again. Okay, so now we are logged in. That's key function to enable Google Drive API into your app. Then the Google Drive Manager class can actually upload and download any files. So here I have two videos and one image. So let's select these. These are PPSafe encrypted files that I want to create backups into my Google Drive. And we say upload. It starts uploading. We can destroy the app and we have background service. It uploaded pretty fast. It's already saying that, hey, we're finishing already. Okay, let's see how it did. Yep, they are uploaded and let's download all. It's coming pretty fast. We can see that two transfers ongoing. We could have canceled them in here or in here. Done. Okay. So that's what we're gonna refactor into my another application. And that's going to be the coding phase. But before we start, let's take a look quickly what I do. The demo I used PPSafe encrypted file and data manager. And you can go into holdtorun.com and see the PPSafe application in there, or you can go directly into Google Play and try it out yourself. Okay, let's start. But before we start, let's take a look what we need to operate with Google Drive API and OAuth. These are the um, dependencies, sorry, not that one here. The Google Drive API operates, you need the services out from Google and you need the API services drive. And I have, I believe I have the latest version three something here. So with this one, we can operate with Google Drive. Now, it is not that simple to just integrate into Google API. So 
you have to actually uh, integrate your application mine's ppsafe and photodocs in this case into google cloud and you will need to create your authentication api keys in here and you have to uh, also activate the OAuth client this is something that i leave to you because this contains personal data but just showing you places what you need to do so create the credentials for api keys and OAuth and then you have to uh, apply for OAuth consent screen which pretty much enables to show that your application wants user to log in and log out so once google has verified your application status and the type is internal or external external is needed for uh, uh, published apps then you're good to go so without this you cannot integrate your app into google apr or drive because it contains users personal data it needs some verification progress to go through so now we can jump into the first phase of the coding so here we have one big class so i want to make this now into two smaller classes to make it a, a organized setup and to not mix the sign in sign out authentication by anyhow in with my upload download functions which are quite a lot in here so let's just copy paste this class in here and uh, let's just i'm just gonna make it sorry let's refactor this now quickly into a google drive manager so it can stay there as it is i don't know what it means rename yes 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 select all select all so now we have renamed that one now we can quickly just copy paste this one in here like so now we have a lot of mistakes in here i want to just now in the first stage i want to click delete all anything that's related to these upload download listeners or create files it's not the point now First, we want to make the sign in, sign out work. So, still, still, still. Huge amount of. There. Okay, now. Now we should have our cleaned up class. And uh, this is not going to be open class, there's not going to be any override functions into this class it's just gonna be called with return signing client and we need sign in options and we need to be able to check if user is logged in or not and we need to return that drive service into our activity so let's just quickly format these to be ready to operate by function calls from my activity and uh, we need to still delete these ones they have they don't have anything to do with this class and neither these folder names here now let's compare our initial status okay we don't even need any any call routine thread scopes in here so I'm just gonna follow through what I did earlier. We're gonna need to use 
inter internal toast class in here. So let's use that also in here. Okay, that's one of my dependencies for this class to work. And uh, we have toasts if we are able to log in or log out. So we inform the user. We have a live state, mutable state of login. It can we can update this in here with our function uh, return functions, and we can follow this in our application's view model from a single source. So then the user knows if he's logged in with his account or if we just return login to your Google account text. Okay, so let's continue by reformatting. Okay, there's the toast and login. So first we have sign in Google Drive. I'm just gonna copy paste these quickly in here. We had a check login, I believe. No, sign in. Google Drive. Wow, we don't even have that function in here yet. So this is going to be public class. Let's take the whole functions from here. That's something we're going to need. And let's drop that here. Now we have public class. This is something we're going to be calling from our activity. So this is where it all starts. So we use Google sign in, get signed in account from intent. This result we're going to pass in from our activity. OK, we'll go for data and we add so on success listener. So Google can inform us if it was success. I'm just logging it for my debug functions. It was success. And then we're going to update the live state of Google log in with the uh, returned account email. So it's obvious for the user that we saw that, hey, it was success and we now can so prove it with your email. It was success. And then we're just going to toast log in success. My toast is my inner class in here that I'm injecting as a dependency in here. You can toast it how you ever want to. Or we fail. Therefore, we have add on failure listener. And again, I'm just logging it for debugging purposes. And while it failed, we just return the default text of login Google account. So it wasn't success. And we toast login fail. So these are the four toast texts that I have standardized in here. OK, what else do we need before we jump into our activity, which actually calls these functions? Let's see. We had that one. Then we have sign out. OK, let's quickly copy paste. Now we have now we can sign in. And we can sign out. Now that's how you code. You copy paste. This pretty much does the uh, the reverse function of sign in. So now we say call public function sign out. We have to pass in context from our activity class. We call this from activity class. So now we say return sign in client. Is this our yeah? This is our class in within here. So we can make it now private. It's not called. I believe it will not be called. OK, it might be called from active. Let's keep it public. So with this, we can return signing client. So it is returned with Google sign in get client. We need the context and sign in options, sign in options is a class where you sorry function where you define the scope what you're about to do with the drive. 
So you pretty much tell Google sign in options, builder, Google sign in options, default sign in. Then you request scopes for your drive. You have to pass in, in minimum drive app data and drive files. Then request email and build. And that's how you pretty much returned your sign in options. And these are sensitive data. So only thing I'm pretty much using is the drive app data. Create and delete its own configuration in your Google Drive. This means what my app has created into the user's Google Drive, I can modify and delete or create. Then there's going to be drive file scope. This means that I can edit, create and delete only the specific Google Drive files you use with this app. So I cannot access with this app into any files, any other files that the user might have in here. These are considered yet safe functions. So they're not too sensitive, to be honest. That's a good use case. So now we can sign out. Nice. So we again log in. Sorry, we detect sign out and we have we return the default value back into the view model with the live state and toast logout success. If it fails, we pretty much do nothing. I'm just logging and I inform logout failed. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four, five and six functions in here. I believe that might be the same. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's correct. Now check login function. That's not the same yet. Yep, we have to implement in here the view model updates, updating the live data when while we are checking if the user is logged in. So this is pretty simple. Let's just copy paste these in here. And then we copy paste this in here. All we do in here pretty much when we call check login within our activity class is that we declare the required scope again with the same scopes for the drive file and drive app data. Then we get the sign in account, get last signed in account, and we need the context from the activity class. And we add up what it contains. And then we can check if the sign in account is not null. It means the user is already signed in within this app and it pretty much contains the scope that we declared in here. Then we can return the Google sign in account and we know that the user is already signed in. And we also again update the live mutable live data with the user email is here. So the user can see that Hey, he's signed in with his own email. Else, if he is not signed in, we update the live data for the view model back to the uh, default text of login Google account. Okay, it seems this class might be ready to be used for signing in and signing out. Now we're gonna try to implement this into our activity. Now it's time to destroy a little bit of code and cause a lot of errors in our code. So that's going to create a nice to do list to implement this into our activity classes. So first, this is the old drive for sign in sign out. It still contains our old sign in functions. I'm just going to delete these. So 
let's delete these from here because now we have nice little Google Drive class already containing these. There, just want to make sure I don't delete anything else. We want to uh, leave the upload functions in here. I'm not going to need the toasts anymore in here. And uh, this view data doesn't belong in here. So we just created this for all these. So that's why I'm deleting them from here. Okay. We can come back to this class once we are dealing with the uh, file handling, upload and download. No, that can now stay there. Doesn't have anything to do with the sign in currently. Okay. Now let's see how many errors we have here. All these we need to refactor. Okay. Then we have our own old reference to the Google Drive Manager. Let's delete that one. It's going to create more errors in somewhere. Okay, we don't need inner class anymore. Okay, now we want to uh, mm, initiate our Google Drive class in here and start working with it. So I want to use that through coin. So coin will be mine. Uh, a dependency injection or manager class. So again, this is going to be single. I want synchronize uh, uh, monitoring for the sign in. So Google Drive. And I had one dependency, it was my toast, I believe. And toast seem to have context. Let's make it so that it's obvious. Like so and uh, my toast. My toasts. Yes. Those are the uh, helper classes that I need in here. Yes. My toast requires contexts and it is now used in here. Okay, good. And while I get the context like this through my um, coin app module, this is going to be application context. So it shouldn't cause any leaks. So now let's import Google Drive Get. Google Drive. Okay, now we have a reference with all the inner classes in here. <clears throat> Do we have anything? Yeah, let's delete them. So the function in here in this class is to allow to sign in and sign out and to uh, show to the user that you're signed in or you're signed out, pretty much. So this is activity class. I have a button that obviously requests to start log in. Okay, and I need to work a bit backwards to see where this com comes from. So I have a open class for my graphics, Jetpack Compose, and there's probably going to be a button in here. Yeah, this is a button, a toggle button. The user presses this and he's requesting either value to log in or log out. Okay. It's going to be either log in or log out. So hmm, how are we going to refactor these? Classes. I believe that we don't need to use these anymore. And we are probably able to directly call our 
Google Drives, sign in or sign out. That's how it should be because it's pretty much all these are now implemented into my class. Wow, we have sign in request. Hmm. Let's see. Not that simple. I need to see what I'm doing in in here. So we have sign in request. Uh, I'm lost. Sign in request. Where's my login log out? Hmm. Okay. That seems to be the way to do it correctly. Yep. Always check log in else sign out. Okay. Exactly, exactly. Let's copy paste that one. The sign in isn't that easy. Yeah, in here we're also checking log in, else, yep. Let's try it this way. Okay, when we want log in from our button, we go into our Google Drive sign in sign out class. We passed in context and we're gonna check if the user is already logged in. Okay, if he is logged in, this returns Google sign in account, else it returns null. And these drives are view model updates for us. We don't need to update those anymore in here, in our activity. In here, we just confirm logged in. If he's not logged in, it's null. Then we start to go through the sign in request correctly. Okay. If we need to go through the sign in request, we open Google Drive, return sign in client. So we go back into our drive manager and we return sign in client. Nice. And with that, we can launch sign in request. Exactly. Sign in, sign in. Okay. We, we have created in here an activity request in our class. Sign in request, register for activity. If result is OK, we can finish our sign in request. We're not gonna do this either in here because this is gonna be something that is driven again in our drive class. So I'm just gonna comment this one like so. Then I'm gonna comment this one lots of errors lots of errors so let's see what we did in here this is nice let's copy paste that one we don't need to do anything in our activity class if we go through the sign in request we just say sign in Nice. And in our class, we again go through the success listener. If the user was able to sign in, we get success and we can update the view model with the email and inform success. Good. Or it fails. Nice. Else, we pretty much toast cancelled yeah because the user did not finish my toasts yeah he did not finish his sign in 
Okay. Now we have sign in request registered and it roots back into our main class for this function here. Okay. Now let's see what happens in here. This is the end function of a button. So it pretty much does nothing if it's what if it was already logged in. Okay. Now what about when we want to log out? Hmm. Again we have a huge amount of code we don't need any more in here. And huge amount of code we don't anymore need in here. Now we want to uh, reference our sign out function in Google Drive. Do sign out with this at settings activity. Okay. Now in here we go directly into our nice neat little sign out passed in context and we are listening the success callback from Google if it was success we just update our view model data back to the default value of login Google account else we just toast the logout was fail that's all we need Good. And uh, now the button is cross connected into our Google Drive. Now, of course, when the app starts, we do want to quickly check the login status always in the uh, on create. So, how did we do it in here in on create? Check Google login status. Okay. This kind of a function is used in here, but I don't need this anymore. I had additional sub functions. We're just gonna call Google Drive check login. And this should now also update our view model, initial view model status, either to show the actual email or the default value. Okay, that's something we can always call in the on create. Nice. Now we just have to, uh, as this is Jetpack Compose, we just have to uh, say that hey, view model. Our login. Hmm. Sorry, we don't even want to use this anymore in here. Or do we? Okay. Let's leave it there. And Google log in. Sorry, in here. We want to cross connect our Google login value into our Google Drive dot Google login value. Now, this mutable live data is driven by this Google sign in sign out class and it'll automatically update the status of this and it is now directly cross connected into my view model google login and this is now driven by this singleton class nice now it's time to see our handiwork in action so this is the uh, the application photodocs 
that we just modified to run through our Google Drive class, which holds the sign in and sign out functions, as well as it drives the uh, mutable state status of the login for our view model. Our settings activity in on create is the first that uses this instance. And I'm fetching the, uh, the Google Drive through my uh, coin app module. It is here, it is singleton, and it required toast with application context. So it is total independence. Okay, so we get it through coin. Let's go into the on create. On create, that's where it all starts. So on create is called now. So we can see we are not logged in. The uh, the view model is receiving default value of login Google account. And it is showing login icon. So this updated ensured that we received that. So check login main function to see if user is logged in. And with the outcome, it updates our uh, login view model, view model status through here. Okay. So next in the Jetpack Composite content, we cross connected the Google Drive's mutable state into our Google login. And it received the actual value that you see in here, which is then displayed in my Compose graphics. And it seems to be working. Now we want to log in. So where was our button? Let's find the button function. Log in, log in here. I modified this just a bit. There's no additional text status coming from this button. So my button is here. Let's press this. Oh, sorry, not that one. This one. Okay, this is the OAuth screen that I showed you. This is approved for external use. It shows my account. Okay, I want to use my account. Let's log in. If I would say in here, stop, then it just informs cancel. It's not going to finish it, but we're going to select our account. Beautiful. It logged in and updated our view model with the uh, account email and change the account in our view model into log out if that would be the next step if I click this again. So let's see, our button is here. This is our text button that you just saw. It holds the view model statuses that I reference in here. But let's go what happens when this was pressed. So in our settings activity, I'm listening this override function of the button and I again double check if the user is logged in just as in the uh, on create. We use the same function here. Okay. This time I'm using this as a toggle. If it's null, user is not logged in, then we have to start the activity request for the user to sign in. So we again use our Google Drive. We have to return sign in client from here. And the sign in client was returned with this function. So we passed in context Google sign in get in client with sign in options. And in sign in options, we declare default sign in we need drive app data and drive file to modify, upload, download, delete, create new files with this application. Okay, request email and build and return. That has to be passed in into our 
sign in request and we can then launch that intent. So sign in request is registered in my activity class, register for activity. Then Google returns the result. If it's okay, we can finish the sign in with our Google Drive in sign in and pass in the result. And in here, we start the uh, add-on success listener. The user pretty much passed in his account, accepted to be, that to be used. And if Google then confirms that it allows the login for the user, then we just update our view model data in here into the user's email and sign the toast of login success else it's gonna be login fail with the default text that's simple in that means if the uh, the result uh, from the all out screen would be a non-success we're just gonna say toast of cancel so this function here pretty much all that it does why i'm pressing that one all the time this function pretty much what all that it does is opens this i mean handles the result of user pressing use my account google double checks gave me result okay and we started the sign in if user instead cancels you can see cancelled this result will be false and we just toast re sign in request cancelled so that's how it's handled as a request in in the activity so obviously our sign in modification refactoring is working and that's all for this video. In the next part, we'll be handling the file implementing the Drive Manager class correctly to uh, upload and download files with uh, upload and download progress listeners. This is a huge class, might be divided into uploading and downloading files to not make too long videos. So thank you for following and we'll be back.